Hello and welcome to the NCVCV. Uh, there's a lot of vlogs out in my channel, but this time I needed to do a B vlog again. This time on the uh, story of Curious 2. Or as I probably would call it, Curious is angry again. The reason I'm starting this um, vlog is because I want to see each part as it's it's made. Uh, I can do a written vlog, of course, but most of that is often <laughs> in different types of of ups and downs. And um, it's easier to just sit down and listen to a, a collection of everything that has happened. This time I'm starting a flow chart, and that is that you see from which point A to point B, and so on. It's mostly like uh, make your own adventure. Um, and this time, I've done that before. It's not not that it's something big, but I've never done it uh, inside Minecraft. The reason is because there is a story that is heavy. A heavy story often makes it more concentrated. You have to make the order one hundred percent. And yes, it's true in this case as well. The thing that I can give you in A, and that you are might be needing, is the fact that in my flow shot I discovered that I needed the player to role play curious. And that's a major fact. If you don't role play curious, don't play the map. Um, thanks to Ron Smalek, as usual, thanks mate, he brought up the same concept or the same idea in his uh, vanilla challenge, custom map making we are doing. Because it, at, in his map the story is not the most important thing, it is the character that you are and the character that is the, the, the one that you are interacting with. If you are going to be totally frank about it, the same goes with my vanilla challenge custom map making map. It is all about the character. But in my version, you don't have to role play it. It feels like in Ron's story, you need to. Because you are, I think it's a second grade character, uh, actor or something like that. But the same thing goes for Curious. And how do you role-play Curious if you don't understand who she is? Or should I say, he, she is? Because she is a hermaphrodite, and that is the biggest part in the number two um, version. If I'm doing a third version, it's not that big a deal. Um, there it might be a third um, about this, because I have more ideas. So, one of the things that I can make the player do is to order them to uh, role play, uh, sorry, to play through the first one, the story of Curious. Um, I've, I've looked through it, uh, it's still working, it's no big deal. But do they really need that? Couldn't it be just as fun to just give them a short resume? Yeah, but th then again, thanks to, like, uh, Bongo Tess, who doesn't like to read books, doesn't want to have a story, a, fa a fat story in the books, he, he might like some other version. And that's when it hit me. How about doing a flashback, um, and with the help of MC Edit, uh, try to glue in, put in, a flashback version of the first map. That is, you are walking the first map behind glass, and you can see and get a short glimpse on everything, because the last thing you need to do is to redo the last choice. The last choice is a very, very important choice, and actually is the thing that creates the curious. 
So, um, thinking about it, I am really going to try to recreate a flashback of the first map. I'm not totally sure how, but putting it in part to my flow shot, and that way we have already established who is the curious you are going to roleplay. And by giving... It's like a tutorial, it's like a, some sort of intro or something like that. I've seen it done in other maps with tutorials and stuff. You need to learn how to exchange money and so on. But he, you need to redo the last choice, and that redoing will then um, make some difference in the story later on. Not much, not much, because the story in number two is rather rigid, I would say. <laughs> but still. Yep, yeah, that's what I can give you in number uh, A, number 19A. And I'm sorry about the um, uh, screenshots. It's, it's easier for me to do that. I didn't, didn't know how much I could talk. Right. Um, I hope you all understand why I do this and so on. Um, anyway, thanks for listening. Bye.